cool. Another box in today from Sonk in England. Thank you very much, Steve. Let's see what's in here. Oh, cool, it has a easy open tab. And we can use a cutter for this. Yes. I like to save these for future shipments. And let's get the box out of the way and see what's in here. Whole lot of stuff looks like. Cool. So this is the arcade button kit. This is the Horstronic joystick kit. I think the panel is out here somewhere. This is the microphony contact mic module kit from Music Thing Modular. And this is the magnetophone Music Thing Modular as well. And here it is, the Horstronic panel and PCB for the joystick. And this is probably the actual joystick. Let's take a look. Yep. Awesome. Oh, and I got a whole bunch of extra read heads, record heads, for my magnetophone module. Cool. So this concludes the unboxing of the big package. Now we're going to go over each individual module as we build them. So thank you very much, Donk. Get ready to build this stuff. So here's the panel. Really beautiful panel. Love how this looks. The uh, resistors. The contact mic itself. Very tiny PCB. Looks very nice. A couple of stickers. Diodes, power diodes, caps, more caps, a couple of jacks, IC socket, mounting hardware, an IC, music thing modular button, power cable, potentiometer, knob, and that's it. Let's go build this. Microphony is already a classic DIY module. It's one of those really simple and obvious ideas I wish I'd had. And it's a great beginner project. It's just a microphone preamp with a contact mic soldered right onto the panel. It also has an external input that disconnects the internal mic when you plug in your own mic, hydrophone, magnetic pickup, or whatever you'd like to amplify. The name comes from a piece by Stockhausen, which employs contact mics placed on a gong, which is then manipulated by three performers. I'll drop a link to a great video of Stockhausen himself performing this with his buddies. Check the video description. Building this module is a joy. I did it in pretty much 20 minutes, while my wife and daughter went to the thrift store next door. If this is your first build, make sure to follow the detailed instructions online. I started with the usual suspects diodes and resistors, making sure the solder looks good on both sides of the board, and that the diodes are correctly oriented. Then the IC socket, the caps, also making sure the polarity is correct, the fuses, and the power header, which goes on the back side of the board. When I added this header, I realized the space to solder was really tight. It would have been easier to have soldered it first as per the online instructions. I did okay, but I do recommend you solder this header on first. The only slightly unusual part of this build is mounting the piezo mic. It gets soldered directly to the back of the panel, which requires the iron to be nice and hot. I used an alligator clip to hold the piezo in place while I soldered. Do make sure to line up the mic to the touch area on the front of the panel, because once you solder it on, it's on there for good. I forgot to do this and soldered it a bit too low. I then tried removing it with the soldering braid and a pump, but eventually gave up and just accepted my mistake. C'est pas grave, the mic placement is not super critical and the module worked just fine. When placing the panel components, accommodate them in the PCB, but don't solder them yet. First fit the jacks and pot through the panel hose, tighten the nuts and then solder them onto the PCB. Put the knob on, the power cable and you're done. Just check for shorts with your meter to make sure you won't see any magic smoke before you plug it in. 
For the demonstration patch, I connected the microphonie's output to a multiple, and from there to two places, the resonator input of my element module and the trigger input of the rampage module, just to grab a solid pulse from one of the comparators, which I then sent to trigger the no coasts random voltage generator. This random voltage output gets attenuated and sent to the element's frequency modulation input. That's pretty much it. Touching the microphonie, or even banging on the whole skiff, simultaneously sends audio to the elements and also randomly varies its center pitch. Really easy and fun patch. I hope you enjoy the jam. That's it for this week. Please like and subscribe and consider backing me on Patreon so I can keep these videos coming every week. Next time I'll be reviewing Befaco's Chopping Kinky Wavefolding module. See you then!